Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. A beautiful, beautiful spot. Uh, we've got big roads, very clear. I guess it's the time of the season when the snow is a melting. We can see by this water streaming down here and the road is completely clear of snow. But my god, did this place ever get dumped on? Jeez, look at these snow banks. Huge, absolutely huge uh that is uh that is awesome and we've got a big old ford f-150 here which obviously means we are in north america but where in north america are we going to be well that's the real question and that's actually pretty tricky i don't know where exactly we are going to be in north america well let's zoom into this and direct tv well that's good because i think that means we are in the United States, but where in the United States are we going to be? Are we going to be in Alaska? Or are we not going to be in Alaska is the real question here. And for whatever reason, I'm feeling that we're not going to be in Alaska. I'm feeling that we're going to be in like Park City, Utah. Does it get this snowy in Park City? Maybe it does. Well, let's guess, let's guess over here in the mountains. Near Park City, and the answer was California. Should have guessed with those big California trees. Uh, Old Mammoth in California. I kind of thought so, but then my mind was said no. So I guess near Park City, Utah. Well, uh, not quite. Twenty-two ninety-five. Hopefully, some of you guys figured that one out. All right, here we are in the main section of not the main section, but today's daily challenge. That's right, the daily challenge. Oh my God, this is going to be exciting. Why? Because it's actually a pretty nice daily challenge, and now that uh, photospheres are no longer seeming to appear in the retro version of... G what the hell's going on with the font? Ugh. Jeez. Well, isn't that new? Look at the font. What kind of font is that? Well, looks like uh, the fine folks at uh, uh, GeoGuessr didn't pay i don't know is do they need a renewal to pay for uh the uh the the font that they used it's like it starts with a k right like kushan script or something like that oh well who knows man uh this retro version i don't know it uh may be the end of days for the retro version I i've got no idea i have no idea if we're going to have to figure out a new way to uh make geoguessr challenges uh, at one point but hey you know what we'll get there when we get there uh, for now Let's just talk about the daily challenge. Uh, this one is really, really nice looking. Uh, it is a sandy road leading to a big old beach. We've got uh, boats going through the water, actually really calm waters, which is uh, pretty interesting. Now, this is today's daily challenge, which of course means it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world you think we are. All you need to do is put your guesses down in the comment section below. Tell me where in the world you think this is, and in tomorrow's video's comment section, I announce the winner, the person that guesses closest. Now, there are no prizes, but there is glory to be won, so if you are interested in becoming today's top geo guesser, then tell me, where in the world do you think we are right now? All right, here we are in the main section of today's video, and today we've got a viewer challenge, a viewer challenge brought to us by none other than our good friend Luanli1989. Thank you so much for this one. This one is all about 3,000, number 3,000, because I recently hit 3,000 subscribers. Now, if you go and check out my subscriber number, it's surprisingly high compared to 3,000. Uh, actually, recently, uh, there's been a big influx of you guys coming in, checking out my channel, and I'm guessing that is because I have some Universe Sandbox videos that are quite popular. Surprisingly so, you know, to be honest, most of the videos I make on, on games, especially that this can't be real series, not, not too many of those videos ever reach a big amount of popularity, but I guess, you know, maybe it's the wacky thumbnail I made, maybe, you know, luck, who knows. For whatever reason, my Universe Sandbox 2 videos are quite popular, and that game was recently put on early access on Steam, I believe on August 24th. So that has sent a lot of you guys over to my channel, and I'm glad you guys have liked the videos enough for you guys to subscribe. So if you're watching this, uh, first of all, thank you for subscribing. I mean, the numbers, and thank you to all of you who subscribed before. I mean, hey, this is all about the 3,000 subscribers. Uh, but again, you know, I got to say thanks to the about 400, uh, 450 or so of you guys who have uh, subscribed recently uh, in the last like two days as well. I mean, thank you uh, to you guys as well. Hopefully, 
you guys are a fan of uh, GeoGuessr. I, I certainly hope uh, that you guys are, uh, because there's a lot of GeoGuessr on this channel, so there's a lot of that. But uh, don't fear, if you guys are really loving Universe Sandbox 2, there is definitely going to be a lot more videos on that. Now, there's probably not going to be any episodes, uh, any videos on that in you know the next like week or so, or maybe even the next little while. I'm going to wait until there's either a big update, uh, and then, of course, you know, the next big updates, I'm going to do more videos on Universe Sandbox 2. Uh, the, the more recent videos, I know a lot of you guys have seen uh, the ones that I did about five months ago, but I actually went and recapped it uh, when Update 15 came out, which is pretty much the same thing as Update 16, to be honest, except for, like, you know, some bug fixes and whatever, but that doesn't really matter. And if you guys are still hungry for more, well, there's still going to be, that game's going to be updated a lot more, and it is going to be uh, coming out in its full release eventually, so of course I'm going to cover it then as well. So, hey, thank you to new subscribers, old subscribers. This challenge in particular is all about the number 3,000. Uh, so, I mean, it's pretty funny. My God, how, how much that... I mean, when I intended on doing this video, I was at like 3,003 subscribers like two days ago. My God, it's crazy. Hey, you know what? I guess, you know, sometimes that kind of stuff happens. Hopefully you guys uh, like the other kind of content I do on this channel. Hopefully you guys stick around. But, hey, so... 3,000. How does that relate to this challenge? Well, every location is 3,000 miles away from uh, the next one, so at least that sort of draws a big circle around. That's a big hint. And the goal is to try and get an average of 3,000 points per location, so a score of 15,000 in total. So thank you so much, Luanli1989, for sending this challenge in. Very excited to give it a shot. All right, let's 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 go and do that. And if you guys are interested in creating your own custom challenge, look down in the description below. You'll find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own custom challenge and how to send it to me. Also, you can find a link to this one so you can play along yourself. All right, man, the font is so weird. Wonder why that is. This website's been having a little bit of problems in the last few days. Uh, so hopefully that all gets fixed rather soon. But hey, now the font is gone. My God, look at that. So weird. Okay, so where are we? Is that a chicken? Man, that is not a very big-looking chicken. Wow, look at that. See, this is this is a chicken when you don't inject it with a bunch of hormones. Look at that. My God. Chickens you see here certainly don't look like this. Either this is a very hungry chicken, or, or it's not a chicken at all, or this is how a chicken is supposed to look. My God, I have no idea, but there you go. It might not be a chicken, to be honest. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't really look like any chicken I've seen before, but uh, there you have it. So, where are we? Well, that's going to be tough. Um, all we know is chickens. We've got a Ford, like, Explorer or Ford Escape. A Hyundai. Okay, it's not a Ford at all. Um, Des Dem Moines. Des Moines. That doesn't really tell us much, although it might might tell us something, but I honestly, I, I don't know what to really make of that. Well, let's keep moving forward and see what we've got. I'll be honest, I, I really don't know, but looking at the climate and looking at what we've got, I'm feeling like maybe boy, this is, this is tough. This could be this could be one of so many places. First of all, I guess we could be we could be in Africa. We could be. But I don't know. I, I don't know looking at the I mean look again, like I mean Africa's so huge, there's so many climates there. But looking at it, I would have actually thought we would be in maybe Guiana, Suriname, French Guiana, something like that. Those are places that come to mind. Other places that come to mind is like if we were in like Papua New Guinea somewhere. That also comes to mind. I, I really, really don't know. And I wish I could find a clue that would help me figure it out. But I, I just I just don't have one. But I'm thinking that what comes to mind is one of those three places. But which one is there? Well, all right. What is there to think of? Is there a thing about language? Um, bears collection. Is that what that says? Oh, that doesn't really help us at all. That could be anywhere. A Hyundai, that also doesn't really help us. What have we got here? What, is, that, is that a shirt? Is that a, like a... 
care something hairy. I don't know. Maybe we're on an island. We could be on a on an island, some sort of small island somewhere. Like a Caribbean island perhaps. Wow, there you go. Those ducks. We get some ducks. Those look like pretty nice ducks if I had to if I had to say so. But boy, do I ever not really have an idea where we are. This is this is tricky, but man, is this ever a cool location. I will say that much. Oh boy. All right. Do I have any clue? I am kind of feeling Ah boy. I really really don't know. Maybe I'm trying to guess New Guinea. Maybe that would make sense. Ah. Tough to tell. I'm going to go I think I am going to go with Shall I? Oh, is that a smart idea? It might not be. It might not be. Maybe I should go with Africa. It's in the middle of the two. All right, I guess so, but I have no idea where to even guess that this would be. Does it look like this any in, let's say Benin. Because that's a country I, ever, I never really think of. So let's say Benin then. And the answer was Madagascar. Okay, well at least I went with Africa. At least. Uh, so we were in Madagascar was the answer. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Look at that, like a little river delta area. But uh, there you go. All right, 1349. Not off to a great start here. Oh boy. All right. Is there anywhere that I immediately think of? All right. So we've got this language here, uh, which is, um, well, it's either, it's either Bengali, is, is, Pun is, is Punjabi a, a language? Is Hindi a language? All good questions. I don't quite know the answer to, but there you go. We are somewhere. Should I? Hmm. Is, well, here's a good question. Is Bangladesh 3,000 miles from this? And I've got to say, I don't think it is. I think that if we are, we're either going to be India, maybe Sri Lanka, but I don't think we're going to be all the way in... Uh, I don't think we're going to be all the way in Bangladesh, so I think that rules out. Um, I think that rules out that being Bengali. Um, now, I also definitely don't think that this is going to be Pakistan. So I guess, I guess I'm leaning towards either because of the three thousand miles, and again, I'm not that great at figuring out the distances. I guess I'm either leaning towards India or Sri Lanka, but I don't really know. I mean, what kind of language can we find in Sri Lanka? Eh, I guess I'm not leaning towards Sri Lanka at all, am I? Eh, no, I don't think I am. Looking at it, I can't really see anything. I believe this coast is probably... Well, actually, we can't really see any of that language around here either. Interesting. Oh, hold on. We saw some up here, did we? I thought I did. Oh, well, I guess I, I guess I didn't. Well, there you go. That makes things a little bit more complicated. Oh boy. You see, I, I wish, I wish I knew a little bit more about religion, because I feel like that would help me narrow things a lot down, actually. Uh, but see, that's my problem right here: is that I don't actually know enough about religion for that to actually factor in to me narrowing things down that's the problem historical well all right well i don't know i don't know too much about the languages about the language in sri lanka but i do know in parts of india this this language right here or maybe bangladesh i don't really think pakistan at all but I know definitely India and definitely, definitely Bangladesh. You see a language that looks very similar to this. And the horizontal line that keeps going through it all, you see that a lot. Uh, but I think Bangladesh is a bit too far for that to be 3,000 miles. So that being said, either we're going to be near the southern tip of uh, near the southern tip of India or in Sri Lanka. 
and I kind of feel like guessing Sri Lanka. I don't really know much, but I feel like I should probably just guess it, mostly because it would make for a very interesting location and a challenge. Uh, that's for sure. So I think I'm going to guess it for that reason, although I really, really wish I knew a little bit more about religion because I feel like that might actually uh, help me narrow it down a little bit, but I don't. Colombo? Absolutely. The answer. Oh, boy. India. Right in the middle, too. Uh, right, in the, right in the middle of India. Nanded. Nanded? I guess so. 2071. 2071. So what is this? Uh, okay. Well, that actually didn't help me very much. 2071. Okay. Well, now we are three... Eh, still not doing very good. I'm going to need to get one of these right to help balance this out, or else my chances here are going to be very low. What have we got here? We've got uh, that. Let's keep moving, see if we can see... See, what what are we... What are we looking at here? That's what I want to know. I want to see what what are we what are we looking at? Well, we've got a lot of uh, we got a lot of men in in uniform. We've got someone in blue standing over here, and then someone in green standing over here, and then we've got some kind of big line going down. It's very fairy like decorated that's for sure we've got a big flag which i feel is going to help tremendously in, in guessing where we are i just need to have a good look at it so currently i don't really have a good look at it and all i can see is that it appears to be a country there are okay well does this tell me anything doesn't really there's a big flag here. Are we in Are we in Turkey? Yes, we are. Okay, we are in Turkey. Okay. Well, that makes a lot of sense. So, big city. Now, I think we've seen this before. This big city here is not. This big city here is Turkey. I believe that this is not. Uh, this is not. Um, it's, it's not uh, Istanbul. It's. Antalya, Ismir, Ankara. I believe we're in Ankara. I think that's I think that's the case. I think we are in Ankara, a city that has no water around it. I think that makes a lot of sense. Now let's go look. Can we see a big? What about this thing? Is that where we are? I don't know about that. What about this? No. Is there anything in the city that? Well, I guess I kind of have to guess like this area right here. But I think that's that's the city that we're in. So the answer is yes, indeed it is. 64, 51. Very nice. Gain some ground there. Two more locations. Got to do like 5,200 points. 5,200 points in two locations. So I got to nail one of them down. That's very, that, That'll that be really useful for us to obtain our goal of an average of 3,000 per location. Oh, this is not a this is not an easy challenge. Luanli always thinks of some really, really good locations for challenges, and that is not easy. Okay, so we've got there, and then there's a G. Is that a G? Well, I doubt it's a G, because if it's a G, then we're not in Greece. We're three thousand, and we're in Europe. Maybe. Now, we're in a Europe-like location. G. G. What, would, what country would that be? I don't know. Well, the license plate, the license plate looks European. That's for sure. All right. So what have we got here? Something and then an N with the thing over it. Okay. So 3,000... Uh, I guess we are going off to something like a, like a Spain or a Portugal or something like that. All right, we're going to like a Spain or a Portugal. Now the license plate, the 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 letter on the license plate is hard to tell. Maybe it was an E. 
Was it an E or was it a G? I don't really know. Well, let's take a look at some of the language. Can we read Can we read the sign? That would help a lot if we could. Um, well, if I had to guess, I would say that that is probably Spanish. So I'm going to guess we're in Spain. Maybe it was an E instead of a G. Maybe that's what the letter we were seeing. Although it really did look like a G, but that's okay. Now if we go up, where in Spain is this going to be? Perhaps it's going to be an island. I feel like it looks like an island. I'm just, I just want to go up to the top. Maybe we'll have a good view. The view is pretty good. The view is pretty good. So what island do I think this could be? Uh, Stone Art Gallery. Something work. Uh, coral. Hmm. Okay, so this is a place people definitely travel here. So that's a good thing to know. And then we've got this again right here. Okay, yeah, that is definitely an E. So we are in Spain. Where in Spain is this going to be? So we're going to be on a small island type location, which we definitely could be. Or are we going to be somewhere completely different? Well, I'll be honest, I don't know. But let's go up to the lookout here and see if that helps us. Um, it, I'll, I'll, that doesn't help us not one bit. So is this the mainland or is it not? Well, it might be. What about, does, can we go on the other side? No, we can't go on the other side. Okay. So there's no split here either. Well, I guess it's time to guess. 3,000 Spain. I don't think we're going to be up top. What about over here, down in this area here, from, because I don't think we're down in this area. We could be, you know, I'm thinking we could be in Mallorca, or we could be in Menorca. In fact, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with Menorca on that one. And the answer was, uh, 3,000 miles is far. 3,000 miles is the Canary Islands. Spain, yeah, it was an island at least. I got that. But I was thinking, ah, you know, I don't know what, I, I well, I don't know what 3,000 miles is, but I probably should have measured it. You know, it's here to, right to, down to the middle. So I probably could have figured it would be an equal distance. It's my own fault. All right, I need to do really good on this one. Oh, oh, thank goodness. I found myself in good old, good old Canada and or America. Oh, that's a good sign. I can do this. If we're in Canada, I have a very good chance because I can at least figure some stuff out. Great. We're in Quebec. First step. Step number one, we are in Quebec. Step number two, where in Quebec are we, and is it somewhere that I've been before? Uh, it's very possible. I know a lot of places in Quebec. Um, we're by the ocean, so... Based on the look of it, are we going to be in? Uh, are we going to be in Gaspé somewhere around over here, this area, Rimouski per se? I don't know, one of those two. Are we going to be one of those places? Maybe. I have been there, but that was a long time ago when I was a, a very young child. So I don't know how much I'm going to remember uh, that. Uh, I can't. Nope. Okay, we're not going that way. We're going this way. What do you have to say? All right, um, that doesn't help. If there was, wow, this looks very maritime -y, which is good. Doesn't really, doesn't really, there's nothing that I've seen so far that's helped me. Well, what does this sign say here? Something about adults. Well, that doesn't help me very much. Gus. Nope. All right. Well, we're going this way, I guess. Uh, hotel. Uh, let's go. Let's go to the ocean. Maybe. Maybe that's going to be an indicator for us. Whatever it is, this place is beautiful. Uh, this place is very, very nice. I'd, I'd have to guess we were we're somewhere around here. People vacation here all the t vacation there all the time. One thirty-two. All right. Is this the 132? It is. Okay. So I had a pretty good idea of where we were based on what I was seeing. And that's that's good. All right. So 
I believe we're in a place called Matan. And that's actually right here. So that helps. Um, St. Anne, uh, that's 78 kilometers from there. So we are right over here in a place called Matan. Uh, specifically, I don't know, probably, you know, it's right around there. I think that's exactly where we are. I, I don't think uh, Little Matan, I don't know where that is. But there was a thing, there was a thing that said not too far away, uh, that said Matan on it. I didn't know that was the name of a city. Uh, so I guess uh, that is indeed where we are. Well, there you go. This is a beautiful area, actually. Uh, when I was, uh, God, I don't know, I don't know when, how old I was. I was pretty young, but I do remember little bits and pieces of it on a family sort of road trip. Ran ar went around this area. It's got to admit, it's pretty nice seeing it now. Seems like something that I would be uh, into doing again. That's for sure, because it is quite a nice area of uh, quite a nice area of Canada. Uh, but uh, there you go. You know, very um, the the Quebec Maritimes are very underrated. Actually, a lot of people think Nova Scotia is great, and they're not wrong. It really is. Um, a lot of people think PEI is great, and they're also not wrong. Although, I would say I would slightly overrate PEI. I say PEI is a little bit overrated. Not to say that there's anything wrong with that. It's just people really rave about PEI. And I think, you know, I honestly think there's a lot. I, I think there is nicer. So, there you go. It doesn't deserve the number one spot. New Brunswick, I don't know. It's probably very underrated, to be honest. But, you know. I underrate it myself. I, I rate it pretty poorly myself, as as the Canadian Maritimes go, and I mean Newfoundland. That's just on its own. That's just on its own world. Uh, very very cool. I haven't been there though, so I can't really give any shed any personal light. But yeah, the Quebec Maritimes. No one really thinks about it, but uh, definitely, definitely really cool place. I mean, this whole area over here. I don't know about this northern coast thing. That's got to be wild. Uh, no one ever goes to this island here. Uh, but that'd be a cool place to go. I wonder if it's an interesting island. I bet you it is. I bet you this island, Anticosti, I bet you there's some cool stuff to go see here. But no one ever goes here. Maybe somebody does. I've never met anyone who's ever done that. Uh, but uh, there you go. And of course, have I, as I've said many a time before, my favorite islands, these ones right here, are of course part of Quebec as well. So there you go. Let's make the guess and the answer was, yeah, that's it. 6403. And we have done it, my friends. 18, 155. We have averaged an average of 3,500 points or something along that line, which is more than 3,000. So that is very, very good. We started off in none other than not Benin, a country I never think of or remember exists, probably should. Uh, and we ended up, well, we actually were, sorry, in Madagascar. Then we were not in Sri Lanka which I thought that would be 3,000 kilometers, or miles, sorry. Uh, 3,000 miles actually brings us over here to India, Nanded. Then we went to Turkey, Ankara. Uh, it has a pretty recognizable skyline in that it is a very big city, similar to Istanbul, viewed from a distance, but no ocean nearby. So that's how we got to there. Uh, then we, or water, ocean. Well, you know, yeah, it's not really ocean, is it? It's at least sea. Uh, but there you go. Uh, then we went to uh, none other than uh, Spanish Island. Unfortunately for me, I forgot what 3,000 miles looked like yet again. And ended up short. We were actually over here in on El Hero, which is an island part of the Canary Islands. And uh, then we went off right over here to the Quebec Maritimes, which I think are very underrated. Because uh, the Quebec Maritimes are absolutely beautiful. So there you go, and yeah, I bet you New Brunswick. Around here, I bet you that's really nice as well. Uh, but uh, I've never actually, I don't think I've ever been to this top coast, really. I've been to this bottom coast, and I'll say that isn't that great. But again, nor is this top coast of, no of Nova Scotia as well. I think this whole area is not that great. Uh, but there you go. Well, personally, I'm sure living there is fine. Uh, but uh, 18155, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah, cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, 
one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh, yeah. Have a good one. Bye.